Hi everybody, uh, Dr. Robinson here with uh, a lesson on touch typing. And before we get into it, I wanna show you the high dots. So I have big ones that sit up and I have nice little flat ones. And I have uh, other ones, oh my gosh, there's so many high dots and bump dots, you can just do a Google search on them. And these are really handy to put bump dots on your keyboard, in particular five and zero and then F4 and F12. Uh, so when you learn how to type, because you always wanna sit up nice, straight and tall, and of course, uh, head straight forward and feet, feet flat on the ground in order to um, touch type. And you can do uh, typing games, most kids don't like them, but uh, what you do is you can actually teach touch typing an hour to an hour and a half a day, five days straight in a row. And you start practicing the sentence, the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. After that week, just start the kids typing stories because writing comes before reading. So even if they're three, four, five years old, uh, it will take them a little bit longer. But once they're in elementary school, they can learn it on five days uh, out. And typically kids do an hour a day and they've got it by Friday. But you can't do five hours one day. That's not the way the brain works. You have to input information and the brain has to grow, kind of like a muscle. Every day you're building up the muscle, that's what you're doing with your brain and uh, muscle memory of your fingers. And so by Friday, they will have, it will be very slow. They might only be typing nine or 10 words per minute, but the more they type, the faster they will get. Have them start to create stories. So just have them open Word and start writing. Okay, so now let's get going on the video of actually all the other little um, specifications on typing. Okay. First, sit up straight, eyes straight ahead, never looking at the keyboard. Every finger has a very specific key to press. Hi everyone, Dr. Robinson here with a lesson on how to type. So the first thing I want you to actually do is take a look at my keyboard. And you're gonna notice the E is completely worn off my keyboard because it's one of the most used letters of the whole keyboard. And then you're gonna take a look at my N and my N is pretty much gone also. Now, before I begin to show you how to type, I'm just gonna do uh, mention, yes, I have terrible injuries on my hands. Everybody <laughs> gets sidetracked on that. Uh, so one thing I'm going to tell you is if you uh, injure yourself when you are younger or along the way, you're probably going to be living with the injuries. Okay, yes, and it does make my hands ache. But uh, I have lots of requests on how uh, should students start learning how to type, and so this is going to be a lesson on this. So I want to take a look at the top picture first on posture. Posture is absolutely critical. So you want to go ahead and be uh, sitting in a nice, comfortable, straight chair. You want to straight back, head up, slightly tilted, and your eyes should always be straight forward on your monitor. Uh, there's a lot of debate about uh, low vision kids and really high, you know, big, bright letters on their keyboard, which only serves to make kids lean over uh, the keyboard, which is going to cause a lot of neck and back problems. So whether you're sighted, blind, low vision, it doesn't matter. This is going to be the posture that you're going to be using in order to type well and fast. If you're staring at your keyboard, your eyes will show you down, slow you down. Even if you have perfect 20-20 vision, it will slow you down. If you really focus on what you're typing and learn that keyboard, you will type over 100 words per minute. Easy, easy, easy. So your eyes should be straight forward, sitting up nice and straight, whether you see the monitor or not, it doesn't matter. Your hands are going to be straight off of your keyboard. And the point is do not let your palms drop uh, because of course that's where people get carpal tunnel syndrome. You need them nice and flat and even. And then a slight curve in your hand to curve on the keyboard, okay? Uh, feet flat on the floor, nice straight posture. Of course, this type of posture is what's going to enable you to type very quickly. And your arms are parallel with the, uh, the uh, floor. So if your elbows are really up or down or you're squished over your keyboard, 
once again, you're going to have hand and wrist and arm problems. Okay. So uh, that is the correct posture. So the next thing I'm going to do is go ahead. I'm going to get rid of that. So I'm going to just control shift left arrow and hit delete. Now, if you want to use uh, talking software, that's a great idea. Uh, the computer PCs have control windows enter, which starts narrator. I'm just going to start it and then stop it again. Narrator dialog. OK, okay. button. I'll, and I'll tap document back. one word window. Doc A S D F. OK, and it gives great feedback. A S D F D A D space. Dad, Microsoft okay. Candidate UI. I actually highly, highly suggest talking software, especially for young kids who are learning uh, to write. Writing comes before reading. If students are taught how to type and write, they will become better readers. So I actually suggest this for people who are going to be learning young. Okay, so let's control A. A. Document se selection it. deleted. Turn off narrator. Exiting narrator. Okay. Uh, the next thing, if you're on a Mac and learning, you're going to sit down on the command key and hit F5. And that's for voiceover. So you can use text edit uh, in your Mac. Okay, another very, very helpful thing is high dots. Now I have a high dot on my F4 because Alt F4, so if I was to put my right finger on Alt, you have Alt on both sides of your space bar. Okay, and I do Alt and F4. Alt F4 closes anything and everything. So that is the reason why I have my F4 marked. And uh, I also suggest five zero and, uh, and typically another key. So you can continue to look directly at the screen and quickly find those keys and your number keys as you need to. I have a numpad on mine because I'm using a desktop model because I'm doing a recording, but laptops typically most uh, do not have the number pad because people want something really, really light. Okay, so I've put nice little color tags on my finger. I see my red has fallen off my pinky. Let me grab my red. And uh, what you're going to notice is my fingers are going to curl under, so you're not going to see them anymore, okay? So the flags are directly on top. My pointers are purple, and my pointers, F and J, on every keyboard are marked. Home row is ASDF, and right hand is JKL semicolon. So uh, you, do not not, you do not need to have high dots on those. So immediately go up to your keyboard and you're going to find F and J, just move your fingers around and you're going to find little tiny marks on that. And that's where your pointers are going to go. And then your middle fingers are going to go directly to the right, of course, because your middle fingers are to the right of your pointers. Um, and then, or actually, <laughs> right on the right hand side to the left on the left hand side. So it goes F uh, and then let's do the left hand first. F, D, S, and A. Slightly curl your fingers, make sure your wrists are nice and straight. Right hand, put your pointer on J, middle finger on K, ring finger on your L, and your pinky on semicolon, okay? Practice this now. Okay. So if you have your speech going, you'll be able to hear this. So I think I am gonna turn narrator on uh, just for a little while so you can actually hear the effect of it. Narrator dialog, OK button, Alt plus O. Document one, Word window, document one, editing. First thing I want you to do is just use your pinkies, just on your left hand. You're going to get your left hand comfortable. So let's go ahead and keep your right hand nice and steady, and your left hand is just going to hit A with your pinky. A, 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 A. You are creating muscle memory muscle memory. So each letter, I'm not going to hit them 10 times, but I want you to, I want you to type each letter 10 times to create the muscle memory in that finger. Now you're going to hit S. S, 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 S. Okay. When you're done with that, I want you to take your right hand pinky and you're going to stretch it about an inch to the right and you are going to hit enter. Misspelled. Yes. Yep. And it's going to tell you it's misspelled because there's no such word as a -A, 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 -S 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 -S. But now you're going to actually type a word with it, and that's going to be as. You're just going to hit the A, then the S, and then space. A, Mike, S, space, S. 
Okay, and I'm ready to tell you, as soon as you hit as again, it's gonna tell you you misspelled it, which you didn't, but it's looking at it as a misspelling because you typed it twice. A, S, space, misspelled is okay. Microsoft Candidate UI Paint. But more than anything, I want you to practice hitting enter, and that's stretching your right hand pinky over about one inch and hitting enter, and you're gonna type as, once again, 10 times. A, my S, space, as, a, my S, space, as, A, my S, as. Okay, so keep doing that, do that 10 times. Now you're going to add the D. D is middle finger on the left hand. D, D, okay, D, 10 times. D, 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 D. Okay, after you have done that 10 times, now you're gonna hit enter and you're gonna do A, S, D. Once again, you're creating muscle memory in your hand. Stretch that pinky over on the right hand side and hit enter. Misspelled D D D D D D D D A S D space misspelled A S D D. Actually, don't hit space so it doesn't keep telling you it's misspelled. A S D A S D A S D. Okay, create some speed. A S D. Okay, do that ten times and you're gonna hit enter. Misspelled is dash 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 dash. Yep. Don't we love that? Now you're gonna spell a word. Dad. D A D. D A D space dad. Enter. D A D space dad d a d dad okay you get the idea do that 10 times now sad s a d s a d space sad s a d sad s a d sad okay and you're going to continue to do that 10 times creating that muscle memory ready we're going to go ahead and hit pointers now with f f f 10 times f f, f, f creating f, that muscle f, memory f, f, okay? f. And then you're going to do A S D F. A S D F. Ten times. A S D F. Okay, you're creating A -S -D -F. that muscle memory. Now you're going to hit enter and let's create another word. Misspelled fast, fast, fast. Yeah, we know. F A D space. Fad. Ten times. A D. Fad. Fad, 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 fad. Then you're going to retype dad. Retype sad because once again, you're creating that muscle memory on where every letter is. Misspelled fad, A, D, space, dad, S, A, D, sad, F, A, D, okay. fad. But I want you to do that 10 times each. Okay, so now we're actually going to add G. So your pointer is gonna go F to G. G, okay. Microsoft Ten Candidate times. UI Paint. G, 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 G. G. Okay, right hand, pinky over, and enter. End of line. Misspelled GG. Okay, here we go. Now you're going to do GAD. G A D space GAD. G A D GAD. G A D GAD. G A D GAD. And then go through the sequence again of your words. F A D FAD. D A D DAD. S A D. Sad. Okay, that easy. And you're going to do that over and over, and then you will have learned left hand home row. Home row. You always want to center your fingers back on home row. Feel the F and the J for that. Here we go. Now we're going to do the right hand. And you can start with either the pinky or the pointer, because if you start with a pinky, it's just a single quote. Single quote. So there's not a whole lot. So if you're going to start with a pinky, semicolon, semi single quote. If you're going to start with a pinky, well, it's not a letter. Semicolon. A is semicolon. So let's go ahead and just actually start with the letter. We're going to start with our pointer, okay? And our pointer is J. J. Microsoft can J. 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 You're going to do that ten times out, and you're going to hit your pinky over and enter. Misspelled J J J J J J. Here we go. Now, you're actually going to spell JAD and combine with your left hand. So now, let's just hit your K and learn K. Middle finger, right hand. K, 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 K. Okay. You're going to do that 10 times, get that muscle memory, and then you're going to just do J, K. J, K, J, K. Just to get the feel J, of it. K, J, K. Okay, and you're going to hit enter. Misspelled K, 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 J, K, now, J, K, J, K, J, K. Ring finger, L, right hand. L, L. 
L L L L. Okay, combine the letters. J K L J K L J K L. Okay, ten times over and over and over and over, and you can't really spell a word with that, but you can with the left hand, and we'll do that in a moment. And then, of course, just practice that pinky. Semicolon. Semicolon. And now pinky over and hit enter. Now create words from with your left and your right hand. L A D. Lad. L A D. Lad. Okay, ten times, ten times, and then just make <laughs> words up and have fun. J A D. Misspelled Jed. Yeah, because it is. So then what you're going to do is create a word with that. So now I want you to do D E back to the left hand. D E D E okay. D E. Remember what I told you about E being the most, uh, one of the most used letters? Yeah, now you can actually create great words. Right hand pinky over. Misspelled D D. Here we go. J A D E. Enter. Jade. J A D E. Okay, you're combining those letters and words. Jade. 10 times, okay? Now, go ahead and practice your other words that you know, like lad. L, A, D, misspelled lad. Okay, now what you're going to do is go ahead and create other words. <clears throat> we know we need to do H still here also, so you're just going to go J, H. J, Micros, H, J, H, J, H, okay. J, H. And you're gonna hit your pinky over and misspell J H J H J H J H. There we go. Create a word of had. H A D. Misspelled head. H A D. Misspelled head. Okay. Had. Really nice. Ten times each. Create that muscle memory in it. Okay, so let's create new words. Let's go ahead and practice our pinkies up. Every finger has a key to hit. Be very careful which finger you use. So back to the left hand, we're going to go A, Q, and go up. A, my Q, A, Q, A, Q, A, Q, A, Q. Okay, you're going to use your ring finger and do S to W. S, W, S, W, S, W, S. Okay, now middle finger, D up to E again. D. E, D, E, D, E. Pointer is going to go F to R. F, R, F, R, F, R. F up to T. F, T, F, T, F, T. Okay, now back to the right hand. We're going to go J, stretch up to Y. J, Y, J, Y, J, Y. J also gets U. J. U, J, U, J, U. Okay, you're going to do K up to I. K, I, K, I, K, I. You're going to go ahead and do L up to O. L, O, L, O, L, O. Pinky gets semicolon up to P. Semicolon, akakakakaks, semicolon, P, P, semicolon, P, P, semicolon, P, P. Microsoft okay. Candidate UI pain. And hush him up with the control key. Okay, you want to practice those over and over to get the fluidity of that. Ready? Pinky over and enter. P. Now, we're going to go down and practice those bottom rows. Focus on where those fingers go. So we're going to go A down to Z, back to the left hand. A, my, Z, A, Z, A, okay. Z. Do that over and over to get that down. Now S, ring finger down to X. S, X, S, X, S, X, S. Okay, let's move to our middle finger. D down to C. D, C, D, C, D, C, D, C. Okay, once again, you're going to do that over and over and over again to really get the fluidity of it. F down to V. F, V, F, V. Okay, over and over, then F and stretch it down to B. F, B, F, B, F, B. Okay, and remember, always keep the other fingers on home row. Don't be moving your whole hand down and up. 
because your hand wants to be positioned and ready to hit the next letter. And then, of course, to end it off, you want to practice that F to G F again. G. Okay, F the nice stretch. G. Okay, now back to the right hand. Here we go, J, and we're going to do our pointer, and we're going to stretch it a little bit down to N. Ready? J, N, J, N, J, N. Okay, we're going to go J down to M. J, M, J, M, J. J is very M. busy. Okay, and of course, remind yourself, J stretch J. up to Y, y. and J. J to U, U also. Let's hit that middle finger. We're going to go K down to... K, comma, as is yeah. S, comma, K, K, K Mike, comma, K, K, K comma, K, K, comma, K. L gets period. L, Mike, period, L, L, period, L, L, period, okay. L. And hit enter. Now, let's address capitalization. While the right pinky holds the shift key, the left finger types the letter, and vice versa. If I need to capitalize something on the left-hand side, my right-hand pinky is going to stretch down to the shift key, and you're going to do shift Cap A, a Microsoft a, Candidate UI Paint. And come up. And what I want you to do is practice doing the right hand, then the left hand. So you're going to left hand down, hold down the shift, and do J. Cap J. Okay. Ready? Right hand goes down to do the shift, and do the next letter of S. Cap S. Okay. Left hand goes down, holds the shift, do the next letter, middle finger on the right hand of K. Cap K. Okay, keep going down, back and forth. Cap F. Just to get the feel. Cap L. Of your fingers and knowing how to capitalize. Now, once you do all of this, and I want you to practice these letters over and over and over until you get it, when you start getting comfortable, I want you to hit enter. And this is the sentence that you're going to- Ash flow. Type out over and over in order to get down speed. Here we go. Cap A E S the U I C K Mike Spake Quick Dub N S Brown that Space Fox M P S Jumps S Over E S the A Z Y S Lazy Period Dog okay. Space. Practice that sentence. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog over and over and over, and your fingers will start creating that muscle memory on how to do every key where it is. Remember, keep your head up, keep your fingers on your keyboard and typing. And the nice thing about having talking software on is you don't have to constantly be looking at your keyboard in order to find the letter. If you can't, just a, move your fingers Microsoft around. Q, okay? W, E, D. You will find it. Just constantly go back, have your pointers, Feel the F and the J mark on your keyboard. Okay, start there and we'll continue to work on other keyboard lessons. And so remember, remember that perfect posture, eyes straight ahead on the screen and have your fingers feeling those keys in order to understand how to type really well. That is the first step in typing. We'll see you in the next video. Remember, if you like these videos and you need more, just send us an email at techvisiontraining at yourtechvision.com. Give a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and you will get notifications of every lesson 